This video is my opinion and for entertainment purposes only. Hello, my dears. It's me, ordinary girl trying to be fabulous. And welcome to my channel. Welcome to my subscribers. Welcome to my non-subscribers. If you are not subscribed, then I hope you will consider doing so if you enjoy my content. And if you don't enjoy my content, I hope you will still consider subscribing. So, um, oh, and I can't forget, um, when you do subscribe, please hit the bell because, uh, so that you'll be notified every time I upload. So, um, let's see, a few things about me. I have two rescue dogs. I have Olivia. She is a Japanese chin. She's nine years old. She's the princess of the house and she knows it. And then I have Annie, who is a three-year-old border terrier and a little spitfire. And I love her madly, my little, my little Annie spitfire. So, um, I do makeup reviews, product reviews. Uh, I am a weight loss channel, although that's kind of iffy. Um, I do cooking, uh, gardening, hauls, fashion. I want to get into books. Oh, I do history. Um, I've done history and uh, I do want to get into books. Even though I've said that for about two months, I really plan on it. I really promise getting into books. And um, so, yeah, that's that's it. And even though, you know, I've said I want to get into books for like three months, I um, was thinking, you know, because I got this article recommended to me. And this is the inaugural episode. And apparently there's no... Um, there's, there's just so much material. So this is the inaugural episode of Spoiled Rotten Brides. So, I mean, there's just so much material because I got this one article and then I got another article and then I got another article. So, uh, the first one, this is just too delicious to pass up. So I'm going to share it. And, uh, I'm, I just, I just had to share it because it's just too 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 good and of course to give credit to the author of the article i will link it down below so that you may read it yourself in the description box so to start out this video spoiled rotten brides is um this bride canceled her wedding because her guests would not pay her sixty thousand dollar bill like really um can't make this stuff up so four days before the wedding this bride who was given the name susan uh wrote in a facebook post blaming her friends and family for ruining her life and marriage because her friends and family would not pay for her wedding Shocking. Imagine that. Imagine thinking that. So she goes on to explain how she and the groom met at the age of 14. They've been together since then. They've gone to, they went to community college together. They worked really hard to build a life of financial stability. I believe somewhere I saw that they even share a son. And, um, so they get engaged and they believe that their love story is like on the same level as a Disney romance. This is, this is true. This is a fairy tale, y'all. Fairy tale. Fairy tale. I mean, honestly, people, it's a fairy tale. <sighs> Let go of your wallets, you stingy guests. This is the opportunity of a lifetime to attend Susan and Blank's wedding. Okay. 
So it's a fairy tale and they're touring venues and they come down to two venues that they really, really love. And um, they go to a psychic to find out, you know, because I guess they couldn't decide between the venues and one of the venues is, you know, more expensive than the other. So they go to a psychic to find out which uh, venue they should choose. And the psychic tells them to pick the more expensive venue. And they're like, why not? Why not? Because you can't afford it? It's out of your budget? It's way out of your price range? Like, I love bridal stuff. And, um, like in the bridal magazines, they will tell you, uh, you know, don't go, you know, you're trying on dresses. Don't try on a dress you can't afford because you might fall in love with it and then you can't afford it. So I guess the same would apply to venue. If you go to a venue that you know you can't afford, don't go to a venue you know you can't afford because you can't afford it. So they pick the more expensive venue because the psychic told them to. And they're like, why the not? Because you can't afford it. That's why the not. So, um, so they, you know, have this fairy tale wedding that they're planning. And, uh, the bride sends out the invitations and um i of course there's no copy of the invitation that would be that would be even more wonderful and delicious uh but um the i guess it was the invitations somehow they uh imparted the knowledge to the guests that you got an invitation um but if you don't give us a $1,500 cash gift to go towards our wedding, then you're uninvited. And shocking. I mean, imagine my shock. <gasps> they had no takers. Nobody wanted to, um, nobody wanted to spend that $1,500. And so, you know, the bride is like, uh, dismayed and she um, resends the invitations and they're like okay instead of $1,500 um, you can send a thousand so when they sent when they originally asked for like the $1,500 uh, they got eight people to pay $1,500 so um, and then when they ask for the thousand instead, I doubt that the people who sent them fifteen hundred dollars, I doubt they got five hundred dollars back. So um, they had a GoFundMe, and the GoFundMe, they only got two hundred and fifty dollars. So they're just really frustrated with their guests who don't want to help them pay for their wedding, and uh, so. The, so they were tired and worn out because, you know, they're trying to get their guests to pay for this wedding that they can't afford. And the guests aren't biting. And, you know, so the groom is tired of it all. I wonder why he didn't put his foot down to begin with. And he's like, you know, why don't we just cut our losses and go to Las Vegas and, you know, elope. So the bride had a lot to say about that. She was like, you know, that's just nasty. What kind of woman do you think I am? Do you think I'm a trashy woman? You know, I'm trying to do the, uh, the censored version because I know, I know a lot of my friends and family watch these videos and, uh, you know, I know they, well, I don't, I don't use language, so. But yeah, she was, she basically gave him, gave him a piece of her mind and said, how, how dare you insinuate that I'm like this type of woman who would have a cheap Las Vegas wedding. Okay. So you can have a very nice wedding in Las Vegas. They aren't necessarily cheap. So that's, you, you know, so, uh. So she got mad because the groom, you know, wouldn't apologize for his uh, misstep. And then, to add insult to injury, the maid of honor, who had promised her $5,000, 
backs out and you know it's kind of hard but five thousand dollars for someone else's wedding I can I would never even um I would never well I would never promise five thousand dollars for someone else's wedding so uh so the the bride goes off on her maid of honor and says it basically calls her you know uses a lot of profanity and basically calls her a poor excuse for a friend so you know um she's like she's just like going off and going off and she's like how hard is it for our friends and family to finance our wedding and my thoughts are you know um because they had saved up like fifteen hundred dollars so my thoughts are you know have a wedding you can afford don't expect your friends and family to pay for your wedding and uh at one point you know she's like oh yeah when she was going off on her maid of honor she was like you know, uh, why can't, why can't I have my day where I'm a Kardashian and blah, 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 and all that stuff like that. And, um, personally, I've never, ever, well, maybe not ever, there, I don't get the obsession with the Kardashians. I just don't get it. And before you Kardashian stands, come for me. Um, I am ugly. I know I'm ugly. I know I'm plain. I know I'm ordinary. Um, so tell me something I don't know. But yeah, I don't get the obsession with the Kardashians or the uh, or the um, the need to feel like a Kardashian on your wedding day. So um, it reminds me there was a long time ago like back in the early 2000s I used to watch Dr. Phil and it was uh, when Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston had gotten married and you know they're like movie stars um, Jennifer Aniston was in Friends at the time making a million dollars an episode and Brad Pitt was like an A-list movie star so I think their wedding cost over a million dollars and I was, I was watching Dr. Phil and there was this woman who was on there and she was like, um, I should at least be able to have a wedding like theirs. And I think she was a school teacher and you know, not, I'm definitely not dissing school teachers. Uh, school teachers are awesome, but school teachers don't make enough for a million dollar wedding. But she just thought that she should be able to have she was entitled to having a wedding that was like theirs to A-list movie and TV stars who probably throw away more money than they keep. I don't know. Just an opinion. So, yeah, that's that's what that reminded me of. You know, it's it's moved from the it's moved from the Pitt Aniston wedding to, you know, being like a Kardashian for the day. So the bride's like, how hard is it for y'all to finance my wedding, my dream wedding? Oh, our dream wedding. How hard is it for the bride to finance, for you guys to finance our dream wedding? I mean, my thought is, you know, like I said, have a wedding you can afford. There was one point where they said they had raised $15,000 their, towards their wedding. So, you know have a $15,000 wedding. I think a $15,000 wedding would be very nice. My personal opinion is um, if it costs $15,000, just my opinion, if it costs $15,000, it needs to have a steering wheel, it needs to have an engine, it needs to have four tires, it needs to have a little thing called a horn go beep beep. My opinion, it needs to be a car. You, you, if you're gonna spend fifteen thousand dollars on something, yeah, I know you can't get a car these a new at least a new car these days for fifteen thousand dollars, but really, but yeah, that's my opinion. So, um, the cousin of the bride was the one who posted this story to bride shaming page on Facebook, and people were really shocked, and they were like, um why what uh 
is this for real? And the cousin is like, yes, absolutely, this is for real. And her cousin, you know, came up, they worked a farm, seemed like a pretty sweet girl. Um, you know, she, hard, hard uh, farm work is hard work. So, uh, she didn't understand where this bride was now coming from, except that all of a sudden she was obsessed with the Kardashians. We know how I feel about that. And, um, she said that Susan had probably been drinking. And also, um, they, uh, say, you know, the bride, uh, believe took it down after 15 minutes, you know, um, but tell you what, my dears, the internet is forever. And there's a little thing called screenshots. And if you have an Apple phone, there's a little thing called screen record. I don't think I can get it on an, on an Android. I'm going to try. But yeah, there's screenshots and there's screen record and the internet lasts forever. And so, like a lot of the comments were like, uh, why can't the bride pay for her own wedding? Um, the one that I, I don't necessarily agree with is that the groom is lucky that he got away. Um, because it seems like the groom was going along with it. But, like, I don't know these people, so I can't say. But, you know, um, that's just, you know, the, I don't know if it was, I just, I can't say, but I can't, I wouldn't know if it's just the, you know, the, uh, just the groom, or just the bride who was fueling the $60,000 wedding. Uh, seems like, seems like the uh, groom didn't do anything to stop her. As far as I can tell. Allegedly. So, um, the moral of the story is, the internet is forever. Don't expect your guests to pay for your wedding. If you're going to have a wedding, have a wedding you can afford. I mean, you know, you might not be able to go to Kleinfeld and get your gown, but you can get some pretty decent gowns from other places. Um, you know, and the, the biggest takeaway is the internet is forever. And the second takeaway is this is too much fun and I'm going to keep doing it. So don't be a spoiled rotten bride because you might end up on one of my videos. And so with that, I want to say thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys. And, uh, you know, don't forget to hit the bell, hit the subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. And I just, I can't tell you how much I really appreciate you guys. And, uh, I'll see you later. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye.